Hey guys, JT here, and if you haven't noticed, there's been a ton of posts on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube about FHA making this huge uh, change to their monthly mortgage insurance premium. Okay, that's good and all. However, what does that mean to you exactly? Now, yesterday I did a video on what it meant to someone that was buying a home at roughly a $600,000 purchase price, okay? Now here, in this example, we have uh, what this means to you if you were to be buying a home at $752,500, okay? Which means Means that your loan amount wouldn't be able to be greater than seven hundred and twenty six thousand dollars okay now let me break this down so purchase price seven hundred and fifty two thousand five hundred dollars your down payment three point five percent down payment which means that's twenty six thousand three hundred and thirty eight thousand okay now just to clarify your loan amount cannot be greater than seven twenty six two hundred in this case your loan amount is seven twenty six one hundred and sixty two thousand dollars now the old pmi the old monthly mortgage insurance premium was 1.05 percent okay which meant that on a loan amount of seven twenty six one sixty two your pmi right now is six hundred and thirty five dollars with thirty nine cents now with the new change it's going from one point oh five percent to 0.75%. You get that? 0.75%. That's a 30% difference, okay? Your new PMI will be $453 with 85 cents. Now guys, that's a savings of 30%, okay? That's $182. Now guys, what you can do with that money is you can you can save this on a in your savings account, allocate it towards your, uh, your children's uh, savings account. This is a car payment. That is a big, big difference. On top of you buying a property that you want today, and on top of you having the seller pay for your closing costs, you now have a 30% savings in your monthly PMI whenever you go with FHA financing. Now remember, this does take into effect for all FHA case numbers assigned on or after the 20th of March of this year. So don't forget about this. This is huge. This is what it means to you if you were to buy a home at a $752,500 and only coming up with 3.5%. So guys, for any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or any of our amazing loan officers here at GoTo Mortgage Solution. All right, guys, hope you found it a value. Talk to you later.